I honestly think it's just about luck. In this video, we are going to take a look at I tried every course in Andrew Tate's The Real World for 6 months by Mustafa Numan. So I'm curious to see what kind of results he got in 6 months. Because in that kind of period of time, you can definitely get good results if you put in the work day after day. So let's see what he did and let's see what kind of results he got. Over the last 6 months, I tried every single course in Andrew Tate's The Real World. And today, I'm going to go through all of them, including a bonus secret course, which I'll cover at the end of the video. Now, in my opinion, you should not focus on 10,000 different things at the same time. Either pick affiliate marketing, crypto, selling online courses, consulting, or something else. But do not try to do all of those things at the same time. Why? Because think about it. All the time, energy, and resources that you are spreading in 10 different things, you could instead focus those on one single business model. And if you do that, you'll get results a lot faster. Think about it. It's kind of like you try to learn 10 different instruments at the same time. You try to learn how to play the piano, the guitar, the ukulele, and the drums at the same time. Obviously, it's going to be harder than if you just tried to play the piano or the drums. And if you want to play multiple instruments, it's completely possible. Just don't try to learn them at the same exact time. And also, do you want to know why most people they fail in business other than not being able to focus? They don't stick to it long enough. Like you might start a business and think, oh my god, I'm not getting results. What am I doing wrong? In reality, you might be doing every single thing right, but it is simply that you have not been doing it for long enough to get the results that you want. So that's the thing. To get results in anything in life, whether it be business or the gym, you need to do the right thing, but also to do it consistently, long enough to get the sort of outcome that you want. You can't expect to go to the gym for one week, to eat right for one week, to sleep well for one week, and at the end of it, you'll be completely jacked. Obviously, it doesn't work that way. The same concept is true in business. Let's start with the affiliate marketing campus because I've made the most money there. So you can see that there's a lot of people sharing and talking about how much money they made by doing this. A good community, in my opinion, it is a very good aspect of an online course because you get to access a network of other people who are in the same boat as you are. I mean, look at most people. Are they trying to better their lives in any way? Not necessarily. Most people, they just have this victim mentality and they are going to complain about everything that goes wrong in their lives. I know many people like that personally. And guess what? Year after year, I've seen those people. They make no progress or barely any progress because obviously mindset is not everything. Like some people online, they're going to say you can just manifest what you want. You can just repeat a bunch of affirmations and you will attract money and wealth into your life. I don't believe that's the case. However, if you don't start with the right mindset, the belief that you can become successful, that you deserve it, then obviously either you won't get started or you won't do the right thing. You'll do the work halfway or you will self-sabotage the progress that you make. So that's why if you want to become successful, you need to have the right state of mind. Believe it or not, but most millionaires and billionaires, they are self-made. It means that they did not inherit their wealth directly. They had to do something to create it. Now, fair enough, some of them, they might have had a better starting point in life. Maybe they had wealthier parents. That is true. Jeff Bezos, for example, I read the book called The Everything Store. It details the entire story of Amazon. And it turns out Jeff Bezos got $100,000 from his parents to start his company. However, let's be real. If you gave that kind of money to most people, 100k, most people would blow it all on stupid stuff. They wouldn't be able to create a multi-billion dollar company like he was. So some people sometimes, they try to take away his credit by saying that he got 100k anyway. That might be true, but he could have lost everything. He could have made stupid decisions, not work hard, and lose everything everything. Yet, it didn't. It turned it into a multi-billion dollar company. So that goes to show you, yes, some people, they might have a better starting point than you, but you have a better starting point than many others. So quit your excuses and get to work. And that's why joining an online course, it is a great idea. Because you not only get access to the right knowledge to succeed, and honestly, you don't know what you don't know. If you try to do everything on your own, it's going to take you so much more time and you will make so many more mistakes than if you actually had a step-by-step -step plan to follow. That's literally what online courses are for. They're meant to teach you the way to guide you along the way. It's kind of like hiring a personal trainer. Do you need one to get results in the gym? Not necessarily. However, let's be honest. Look at most people in the gym. Are they jacked? Not really. And that is because they don't know what they don't know. They don't know they're making many mistakes. They don't know they're doing things incorrectly. And if they have nobody to help them along the way, then they won't learn from their mistakes and they will not get what they want. I see many people at the gym, they try to lift heavier weights than they can actually handle. They do half reps, but there is no point in doing that. You're not going to build any muscle and the strength that you have, it's not actually real. You need full range of motion. Most of them are promoting their affiliate links by posting short-form Andrew Tate content. They get people to sign up to the real world using their link, making about $12 per referral. But I decided to take a completely different approach to this by making long-form content instead. You know, on YouTube and on social media, you are often going to hear people say that if you want to obtain the top 1% lifestyle, you will need to do what 99% of people are simply not willing to do. It only makes sense if you want a different outcome than what the majority of people are getting, you can't do the same thing that they are and expect that somehow you'll get a different outcome. 
However, you can even go deeper into this because even if you start a business, now you are doing what most other business owners or wannabe entrepreneurs are doing. So how do you differentiate yourself even more by doing what others in the business are not doing or are not willing to do by going the extra mile, by putting in the extra work that others are not willing to put in. And that's why it's very smart that he decided to create long form content instead of going for the short form content clips like everyone else was doing. Because while shorts may get a lot more views on the short term than long form videos, at least most of the time, long form videos build a connection with your audience and they sell a lot more and a lot better than simply short clips of like 10 to 45 seconds. Let's explore the actual affiliate marketing course. They basically have videos where they teach you step by step how to get started with getting your affiliate link, creating Andrew Tate videos, editing them and finally getting people to actually sign up with your link so you can make money. That's very important. In any good course, it should show you step by step exactly what to do. That way, if you get stuck, if you have a problem, you know exactly what to do. It is a step by step tutorial. And that's exactly what we do at Consulting Fastlane. We show our customers step by step exactly what they need to do to build their own profitable consulting businesses. So what I decided to do was create YouTube videos reviewing the real world. And in those videos, all I did was put my own referral link in my own description. So how much money did I actually make by doing this for the last six months? So we're here on my affiliate dashboard and I have about 2,680 referrals total and $3,405 that are still going to get sent to me. But let's go over to the payouts and you can see that I first started doing this all the way back in April and I've been making thousands of dollars ever since. You can pause the video and add all that up, but it sums up to around $31,449.77. That's like $63,000 a year, which is just crazy to even think about. That is the massive opportunities that online businesses bring to everyday people. I mean, back then, a hundred years ago, if you wanted to become rich, you wanted to be a millionaire and have a crazy life, or even if you wanted to make six figures a year, if you were from a low-income family, let me tell you, you were completely screwed. And the reason why is because if you wanted to start your own business, to be the boss, to be in control, you would have needed to know the right people, to have the right network. You would have also probably needed to buy some land or to open up factories to start your business. And guess what? All of that, it costs a lot of money. And most people, low income, they could never afford that. And nowadays, you can literally become a millionaire in just a few years thanks to starting your own online business. I mean, it's only thanks to starting my own online business that I have been able to build this kind of life for myself. It didn't happen overnight, but if I had decided to go to university instead, I wouldn't have been able to live this at only 20 years old. And you see the average millionaire is 57 years old. Most of them, they have seven passive income streams and they made their wealth usually through different investments and also real estate. However, there is one very interesting phenomenon I've been studying very closely in the last couple of years. So you see in the last few decades, people have been becoming millionaires, even multi-millionaires, younger than ever before in the entire history of the world. Now what could explain this strange phenomenon? How come people are suddenly becoming millionaires in their 20s or in their 30s? I mean imagine, if you are a millionaire at 60 years old, it's impressive. Everyone is going to think that you are a massive success, that you understood the game of life. And not only that, but you mastered it. But now imagine if you are a millionaire at 20 or 30 years old, most people's brain is going to explode. They won't understand how the hell that's possible. And to be honest, if you are a millionaire before 30 years old, you get out of a nice supercar, most people are going to look at you and assume you are just a rich kid who had wealthy parents. But the only reason that's possible is because people start their own online businesses. It can be dropshipping, affiliate marketing, selling online courses, consulting, it can be literally so many things. So it's no wonder that recently many more people have been getting started massively in the world of online business. Because let's be honest, most people they want this crazy top 1% lifestyle. They don't want to go into work a boring 9 to 5 that is meaningless and adding no value to their life whatsoever. I knew I didn't. Growing up low income, I saw everybody around me, they hated their lives. They were miserable. They had to go to this job that quite frankly they just despised. It wasn't meaningful. And then they came back home, had to deal with lots of responsibilities, lots of chores, having to take care of kids. They were also massively in debt because of the mortgages and other things like that. And at the end of the day, they were so exhausted. All they could do is just watch TV or watch some Netflix or play some video games. That's what they do all week, Monday to Friday. They're so tired anyway. They just watch TV all day, sleep in, do a whole bunch of nothing. And then they dread going back to work on Monday. So they work super hard all year long to struggle to even get by. And then guess what? Oh, wow. They get two weeks of vacations per year. I knew from a very young age, I wanted more than just that. And if you're 
watching this video, if you watch videos like this one on YouTube, you know that life is more than just those things. You know that it's more than just going to a boring job and paying taxes and barely making any money to do what you want to do in life. Anyways, moving on, the next course I tried in the real world was the e-commerce or the dropshipping campus. I actually think I made like three videos on the e-commerce campus alone. So this here is the e-commerce campus and there's just an endless amount of students making money every single day. And if we go over to the courses here, they have step-by-step -step videos that go into full detail all the way from finding your winning product, setting up your store, and finally, marketing or advertising and getting sales. I know some people are making plenty of money with dropshipping, but personally, I do not like this type of business model. And I've tried it myself a couple years ago. In fact, when I got started in the world of online business, I didn't go to consulting straight ahead. I went to dropshipping instead. So I was finding winning products by spying on the competition, seeing what was trendy on social media, and then with paid advertising, especially Facebook ads, I would get some traffic on my product page. And some people, they would buy the stuff that we had to offer on the website. I remember it vividly. My first online sale. I was selling some kind of mop for 50 bucks, I kid you not, and it was a summer evening and I launched my very first Facebook ads campaign. And at the time, I was working on this dropshipping business with my best friend. It was around 8 p.m. in the summer, I come back to my room after dinner and I see on my phone dozens of notifications on WhatsApp from my friend. He was completely ecstatic because we had gotten our first sale. So I felt the adrenaline in my veins, you know? I went on my computer and I saw one person bought the product for 50 bucks. And it's like it blew my mind. I felt so damn great. Right. Because fair enough, 50 bucks, it's not that much money. But to think that somebody somewhere in the country paid for that product, literally within 30 minutes of launching the Facebook ad campaign, it blew my mind. And it also showed me, it was proof to me that you can make money online with a business. It's not just fake. It's not only influencers lying to you. It is a reality. Because obviously when I got started, I wanted those outcomes. I wanted to make money online. But I still had this kind of skepticism to think that maybe the influencers were just lying to me. Now, I'll be completely honest with you. When you choose to do dropshipping like this, by finding a winning product, to give you an example, and then using paid advertising to promote that same product. It's going to require a lot of startup capital. And you need to realize that it is not 2014, 2015 anymore. People are no longer willing to pay for overpriced AliExpress or Wish products simply because you have a pretty website and you respond to customer support emails. Think about this. You are competing with brands like Amazon. They are completely crushing the competition and dominating in the e-commerce market. And honestly, so many people, they got scammed because of dropshipping, like the dropshippers didn't send the products or they were very low quality so people complained. Now if you really want to do dropshipping, I'm not stopping you. By all means, go ahead. But know that most likely you'll have to come up with a lot of money up front to be able to run ads for your product. And also, something that happened a lot of time when we were doing dropshipping with my best friend is that we would build an entire Shopify store, have an incredible product and idea. But then, when it came time to launch the Facebook ad campaign, guess what happened? Facebook blocked all of our ads. We tried to contact them. They simply didn't care. And we broke none of the rules. I can guarantee it. But because they wanted on a whim, they simply decided to not allow us to run paid advertising on their platform. Also with dropshipping, your margins are going to be razor thin. You're not actually going to make that much money most of the time. And also you have to take into consideration shipping times and also like we've seen it with the recent lockdowns, crisis all over the world. You'll also need to deal with lost orders, stolen items, and many other things that are just a headache, honestly. So in my opinion, when you are a complete beginner in business, you need to start a service-based online business as opposed to a product-based business like dropshipping. And the reason why is because if you sell a service or a digital product, you don't need to ship it to begin with. You don't need to manufacture it. So it is a lot less expensive and you can even have 98% profit margins when you first begin. Well, I've been studying this course for a really long time and it's actually the one that I have the most experience with. The community is just great. The networking is top notch and there will always be someone that can help you out if you get stuck in the journey. That's very important. In any good course, in my opinion, there should be a strong community of people who are on the same mission, people who share the same beliefs, the same philosophy and who are willing to help each other out when other people get stuck. And that's why at Consulting Fastlane, we make sure that we build a community of winners. We are all in the same boat. We are all trying to get to the top. The first step with e-commerce is obviously finding your product. So how did I find my winning product? And by the way, most of my winning products took me hours of scrolling to find. So don't expect to find something good in a few minutes. That brings me to a very important subject. Most people, they want the instant success. There's this idea on social media that you can become a millionaire in 90 days. And so lots of people, 
they're going to try to start their business and they will get insanely discouraged when after a month or two, they still haven't signed a client. Now, honestly, if you do things right, if you follow a step-by-step -step program, like for instance, this course or consulting fast lane, you will get to that end goal so much faster because you know exactly what to do. So you don't have to worry about what do I need to do? No, instead, you simply need to execute ruthlessly every day. I'll be completely honest with you. I wouldn't have built this kind of amazing life for myself if I hadn't followed online courses. And some of them, honestly, they were very disappointing. That's why I wanted to make consulting fast lane better because I know what it's like to spend a lot of money on a course to only end up being disappointed and you realize there's one big part of the essentials of this business model that is missing and you wonder what the hell am I doing now? But remember what we said, to succeed you not only need to do the right thing but you also need to do it for long enough. But I'll be completely transparent with you, when I got started in the consulting business model it blew my mind just how easy it was to get business owners on the phone with me and they were willing to pay me $300 a month, $200 a month, $4,000 one time, 1.2k, $700 to get my services and that was within a couple weeks of me starting to actually work on the right things. Because you need to realize that you don't know what you don't know. It's kind of like if you were going to die because you were going to have a car accident today, if you knew it in advance, you simply wouldn't go. You wouldn't take the car today and you wouldn't die. In business, the same concept is true. You do not know what you don't know. If you're making a mistake, you won't know how to fix it if there is no one there to help you, to guide you. I joined the crypto campus earlier in March, hoping to double my initial investment of $1,000 to turn it into $2,000. The reason for this is because the instructors in this campus advertised that they were able to 10x their money. So doubling my money didn't look so hard. But unfortunately, I noticed that there weren't too many channels and resources that you have access to and unlike the other campuses, this one is just a little bit less detailed. Basically, it's just course material with no personal mentorship. Going over to the courses section, there were about 11 tutorial videos I had to go through, so there are a lot of videos. So I did that and then I followed their investing signals, which at the time was basically just the instructor telling us what to buy and when. So for day one, I invested $710 into Bitcoin and $290 into Ethereum. After following the signals, the first day results weren't looking too bad. My portfolio went up from $1,000 to $1,032, making us a profit of $32 in one day. At the end of the week, after following the signals, every single day my portfolio was then at $1,073. During the week some signals were accurate and some weren't. I honestly think it's just about luck. I honestly advise that most people they don't start a business around crypto because fair enough we have all heard about the occasional crypto millionaire but most people when they invest in crypto or even in the stock market if they don't do proper research beforehand they usually lose everything. Like recently uh, cryptos and NFTs were very popular and Justin Bieber invested 1.3 million dollars of his own money into a team eyed NFT. Guess what? That NFT lost most of its original value. And like I said at the beginning of this video, sure you can make money with literally anything. Crypto, stock market, real estate, affiliate marketing, dropshipping, consulting, online courses, YouTube automation, literally with anything. However, let's be honest, some business models are better than others. And some business models are also more appropriate for beginners compared to others. In my opinion, the best way to build great wealth when you're young, you're starting from barely anything. It is to start your own online business, a service-based online business, Remember that, that's very important. And the reason why service-based instead of product-based is because with a service-based business, your costs are so low that you can keep running the business. And even if you don't sign any clients for six months because you did everything wrong, you will never lose more money than the price of a meal. So it's never going to make you bankrupt like starting a dropshipping business or opening up your own e-commerce brand could, for instance. And then with the profits generated with your business, if you follow the right instructions, the right plan, it all becomes about consistency. If you do the right thing day after day, you will get results. It is literally a matter of time. But like I said, you need to be consistently doing the right thing. Because if you are consistent at the wrong thing, obviously do not expect to get great results. But then with the profits generated with your business, you reinvest in the business to scale it, to hire other people, to delegate the work to others who are more experienced than you. Because by doing this, you unlock one of the keys to leverage and you need to have a lot of leverage to become very wealthy. I mean, to give you an example, do you think that Andrew Tate is doing everything himself? Obviously not. He has people working for him, doing the work for him. To give you an example, the affiliates are literally doing the work for him. So he's using other people's time and other people's skills as a form of leverage. So once that's done, you reinvest in your business. What you can also do is to take some of the profits generated with your online business and invest them in the stock market, for instance, or in crypto or in real estate or in luxury watches or collector items or anything that you actually have an interest in and are willing to do proper research on before you invest into it. A lot of people
people say that it's risky to invest in things. In my opinion, it is only risky to invest in something when you have no clue what the heck you're doing. Remember, you don't know what you don't know. If you don't have access to the right knowledge, you'll fail. That's a guarantee. Now, when I got started in business, I seriously wished there had been a video online analyzing every popular online business model to figure out which one is the best to start. And that's exactly what I've done. I have recorded a free video in which I am going to analyze every popular online business model. Together, we take a look at the pros, at the cons, at how much they cost, and how much return on investment they can actually give you. And I'm also going to share with you the three-step process that you can use to start getting your first customers today. If you're interested, the link is in the description below. And with that said, as always, I really wish you the best in your entrepreneurship journey, and I am waiting for you on the other side.